Hey guys, in this video I show to you how you can create an automation track. Uh, I already had a tutorial uh, where I showed how to create a volume automation envelope. Uh, but in this video I also show some other parameters where you can create an automation um, envelope of. We have two lines here, uh, two tracks, I mean this is our um, uh, bus line and oh, this is our kick line. Uh, now what we're gonna do is um, uh, create automation clip of the bus, that's in pattern 1, in track 1 and it's played with a Zeta 2 VSD. And first you need to uh, do is assign the Zeta uh, to a free um, insert in the mixer. And insert 3 is free here so I create uh, uh, first select Zeta 2 here. And be sure it's the only one which is selected. And then go to insert 2, right mouse click, link selected channels and then to this track. Uh, what you can do now. Um, we can create an automation um, envelope of the volume. Right mouse click on the volume slider and then create automation clip. Oh, and uh, put it under the bus. Base, I mean American English. And uh, you can create your curve here. You can set points uh, with a right mouse click. And with this thing here you can... Uh, select a curve, so now it must fade in. That works fine. And we can also create automation and clips of effects, um, such as uh, filters. I'm gonna do the uh, fruity filter here. And I want to create an automation track of the low pass. So, uh, very simple, do a right mouse click on the low pass knob, this one, and create automation clip. Uh, now put it under the uh, base part, and um, if I start at low, and then I let it fade in slowly, you can hear it at the um, base, has, it's not complete at the be uh, beginning. And it, uh, yeah, it creates a nice effects like this. Uh, so let's hear it. And we can also create automation clip of the parameter the plugin uh, works. So just actually it's a kind of um, effect volume. Uh, that's this knob and just do a right mouse click and create automation clip um, now put it under the base and you can um, the filter we want a little dip here in the filter how many is it this um, so uh, here at this part now we have a, a full lead actually and even and this part is also full lead. It sounds like this. And you can create automation clips of uh, very lots of things. I showed three here. We can also create automation clips of the BPM, and that's the most useless function in FL Studio because. It's very annoying if a song uh, has multiple BPMs or it, uh, uh, the BPM grows up or, uh, or slows down. That's very annoying in the song. You can also create automation clips of the pen. So if it's left or right with this uh, knobs left uh, right of the volume slider. Uh, there are, uh, are unbelievable uh, a lot of things where you can create automation clips of. Even uh, so, in effects, the knobs you can create automation clips. I hope you like my tutorial. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to upload a few another FL Studio tutorials, and I'll check you later in another tutorial because I uh, stopped uh, a little bit quickly because I can only record for five minutes. So, uh, these are my last five seconds. Bye.